When taking in the works of John Vusium Fupi, one is immediately struck with a sense of peace and calm. The simple scenes inspired by everyday life exude a feeling of joy and upliftment, which seems appropriate as the artist himself is all about upliftment in his own life and that of the community. Vusi is predominantly concerned with the issues that our society faces, whether it be a water crisis, teenage pregnancy, drugs and alcohol, or perhaps a transport problem. He is preoccupied with personal and social development as well as growth. The focus in Vusi's work is always the everyday and what he sees on a day-by-day -day basis. And when you look at the work itself, you can feel this positivity. There's a glow, there's a happiness and a joy, a sense of self-respect, a sense of dignity um, that the work conveys. But it's also what's interesting about the choice of, of the color he uses. Of course, Vusi is not a, a painter, he's a collagist. But the interesting thing is he uses collage the way a painter uses it. Uses it in the sense of layers and layers and layers. In, the way, in oils you have wet and wet, here you have layers and layers and layers of paper. And then the final layer of it is this sort of confetti, this pixelation, this wonderful raindrop that covers every, every image, which gives it some kind of sense of, um, of, of beatitude, of be, a benign sort of warmth and embrace of nature somehow, a blessing the works that he captures. And Martin Buber, who is a, a, a philosopher, a European philosopher, has the notion of I and thou. We consecrate ourselves by loving others. And we in Africa have the notion of Ubuntu. We are whom we are because of others. Rusi does not live in extremes. He lives in, he lives in a plateau that is basically a space of composure, warmth, and self-generation, and generation of the growth of the lives of others through his art. Although Wussi says that green is in fact his favorite color, his works by and large consist of an easy hue of blue. And this is a symptom of his representation of the beautiful South African skies contributing enormously to the sense of wonder and good humor depicted in his body of works. Ashraf Jamal refers to the temperature of the works, a coolness as opposed to an unsettled or angry palette. Although the scenes are simple, Mfupi's process is anything but. Vusi is a collage artist, and this speaks to his sense of rising from the ashes, so to speak. In other words, his nature of resourcefulness and using what is available to him. Starting out with limited space and no access to paint, John Vusi Mfupi embodies an artist that created something out of nothing. A man who has risen above his situation and economized on his process without compromising the great artist that he is. After graduating with lack of space, I was working from home, you know. Then I'll do some work on canvas, they'll get damaged, you know. Then that's where I started recycling uh, magazines because the only thing I needed it was color. I don't struggle with subject matter. I just capture what I come across when I'm moving from point A to point B. When I start, I put like big pieces. Then I, it's a four stage layering. First I draw, second put bigger like pieces, then I clean. Cleaning is a process where I get rid of text, anything that has to do with texting and stuff. Then the last process, that's where I'm getting to my detail, where I cut like your small pieces. Now I'm looking at the plight of commuters. I'm not portraying them in that sad mood. I'm trying to be positive about everything that I'm doing here. Vusi may have started out as an artist using these materials because they are inexpensive and easy to acquire. However, continued to use them even after he could afford more expensive materials like paint and canvas. The artist remains excited by looking at ordinary objects in a new way and transforming these common materials into something new. 
the idea of a double life of the material, starting out as a magazine and being transformed through his talent and vision into an extraordinary work of art, continues to fascinate him. This post-millennial nature of artists as using found objects or recycled objects reminds us that while recycling is necessary to sustain our planet's resources, it is equally valid as a creative and innovative material and subject matter in the visual arts. John Vusi's style in these works in the exhibition make a unique and eloquent statement with its interesting form, color, texture and layering of a found object. He says that there are challenges that come from creating a new object from hand-torn paper as it is immensely time-consuming. But he has a strong belief in the ordinary object and its ability to be transformed into something of storytelling and aesthetic value within his own local framework. The overarching and familiar notion that when the works are considered as a whole, they have qualities that are more than the sum of all their parts. The overall impression of positivity in Vusi's works is undeniable. One finds oneself mesmerized by the myriad of colors and the life or breath emanating from these works, that one almost wants to jump into the heartfelt scenes and be transported into the world of the artist. Scenes recognizable to us all, the struggles, plights and social concerns we all either suffer or ponder, but are now imbued with a sense of magic and hope. John Vusi Mfupi has a harmonizing spirit which he brings to the everyday world. He is inspired by the Rainbow Nation and this vibrancy and use of color is very evident in his work. In essence, John Vusi Mfupi is a storyteller. He doesn't focus on the past, but moves rather to the beautiful possibilities of the future. Light in the midst of hardship. Although Mfupi is a strong believer that it takes bravery to be an artist in South Africa, his now famous upcycled collage style is a visual and artistic expression of his observational nature and resourcefulness and results in a truly authentic visual language in the South African context. <laughs>